Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossstreet. In BL tonight, first up, we got gaming giant Supreme Ventures, ticker symbol SBL, coming out here with changing its you know principal address or registered office. Next up, we got ISP Finance Services, so well-known microfinance company, loan book you know hovering around 600 million Jamaican or so. We'll talk about that. Having a surprise second quarter here, really rallying you know more profitability in the second quarter, while a lot of pairs or pair groups listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange have been having you know less profits or actually losses uh, for the second quarter. So total interest income or let's say revenues relatively flat marginally down for ISP Finance coming down to 92 million you know versus 95 million Jamaican dollars year over year as a key metric now the earnings per share, and this is what caught us by surprise, but good for them, you know, almost hitting 19 cents per share. So, you know, 0.187 versus 12 cents per share or so. So that's a huge jump. Now, Epley Limited, don't get it confused. You know, quite a bit of companies now on the stock exchange have the same names, you know, whether they're in real estate, it's an ETF. So this is Epley Limited, you know, the kind of the credit investment company, not the real estate company. Coming out here now with a nice dividend. So Epley gives you a dividend, you know, every quarter or so, a nice income stock as well, but has had some good growth as well. So the board of directors of Epley here, you know, um, it's a nice income stock as well as a growth stock. So the board of directors got together on August 4th, 2020, declared here 3.72 cents Jamaican, and the dividend's gonna be payable on September 15th, 2020. Now, Berger Paints, still not having good news. The company continues to slump, uh, happening in the first quarter, continuing in the second quarter. And just, you know, just speaking about Berger, you know, kind of down results for the last year or so. So um, once, you know, the company that really had all the market share in the paint business, you know, always having good results, nonstop being the dominator in the industry, uh, really struggling. So second quarter revenues here, plummeting to 411 million Jamaican dollars from a whopping 601.5 million Jamaican. So huge fall off there. Last up, overseas markets, the great Buffett, you know, Buffett having a little bit of a tough time now too, so are many global investors. But checking out the stock filings here, you know, looking at Berkshire filings, Buffett has dumped a lot of his holdings. Uh, you know, we expected this, but probably not so many. Dumping, you know, most if not all of Goldman Sachs. So it looks like without him saying, or a lot of the analysts saying, that Buffett is really dumping and lowering a, quite a bit of his financial positions. You know, maybe he's concerned about the credit issues, you know, not just now, but to come in the future, as he's a very forward-looking investor. And last up, he's taken a large position, or let's say a position that is large overall, maybe not large for him, in Barrick Gold. So a roughly 500 million US, 562 million US to be exact, creating this whole position here to rally. He keeps doubling down or more in his pipeline positions. Those aren't doing as well. And as we know, he dumped his airline positions. So his positions overall not doing as well, but interesting to see here, you know, getting out of a lot of his financial stocks. Something to be said there. I'm Mark Crossgrave. This is Business Life.